Hello, it's been a very long time since I put the first video of my RF signal generator online, so it was really a high time uh, for an update. In the second video I'll show you the power supply that I made and the addition of an input for amplitude and frequency modulation, as well as my schematic of the generator. Until now I used my regular power supply for this project, but finally I want to place a fixed power supply inside the enclosure. So the display needs a minimum of 9V DC and there are say 160mA. For the generator I need about 12V DC and I also need 5V DC. This 5V DC was already derived via the 12V DC cable by means of an IC7805 that was already mounted in my circuit before. And totally the 12 volt lead draws about 100 milliamperes. At first I used only one transformer to provide both the 12 volt DC and the 9 volt DC for the display. When trying out I saw that there were fluctuations in the voltage and therefore also in the frequency of the generator. Correct me if I am wrong but I suppose this is due to the fact that the current required by the frequency counter module to display varies a lot because the several segments on the display turn on and off constantly and influence in that way also the voltage. That's why I finally decided to make two separate power supplies, one of 9V DC for the readout and one of 12V DC for the rest of the circuit. Well my generator is at 60 MHz for a while now. I've done that to compare the stability of this frequency with the stability of the same frequency you can watch at the end of my first video. The conclusion is that stability has clearly improved. So although I said before that the frequency stability was alright for my purposes, it's nice to see that with my two separate power supplies I get a much better result. Here you see the two separate power supplies made in just the same way, both consisting of a bridge rectifier made with four diodes type number 1N4007, followed by the electrolytic capacitor and finally the linear voltage regulator. The first transformer gives out 12 volt AC to get 9 volt AC with the voltage regulator. The 7809. The second transformer gives out 15 volt AC to get about 12.7 volt DC by means of the voltage regulator, the 7812, and this diode here. To modulate the RF signal and amplitude, the input signal is connected by means of a capacitor to the AGC of the MC1684. To modulate the RF signal and frequency, the input signal is connected by means of a capacitor to the varicaps. You can see that on the schematic I will show you at the end of this video. First I will give a short demonstration of the modulation. So now I have connected an external signal of 1 kHz from my Philips function generator to the input of my modulation connector. As you can see the switch is to the left, the position of the switch is to the left and we have amplitude modulation. With this knob I choose the modulation depth as you can see. At the bottom of the screen you see the 1 kHz signal from my generator. When I put the switch to the 
in the middle. In that position we have no longer modulation. When I put the switch to the right we will have frequency modulation. I will give some more voltage I suppose you can see at the screen that we have frequency modulation now so here you see the schematic I hope it's all clear it's possible that I will make a third short video when the generator and power supply are fully built in and when I have placed a nicer readable front on the enclosure. So that was all to tell. Thanks for watching. Bye.